Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicity here. This is a protein reading for the sign of Capricorn. And um, the overall energy is like um, at the beginning of the month, it feels like uh, some people uh, has been hiding something from you or you have been hiding something from others. And uh, it feels like uh, the past, it's like a uh, The past it's behind you, and how you it depends on how you look at things. The past can support you and help you to move forward, but the past can also becomes the burden for you. And it feels like there's some kind of disappointment, disappointment, and things, and um, also sometimes maybe it's time to ask the help from a friend or ask for help from uh, your really really uh, close friends or uh, your parents or uh, your family members and um, it feels like uh, something that it's like it's not growing and 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 it's not blossoming and in the in the beginning of the month two ideas or things just that you're hiding from it's it's like um becomes the burden for you Okay, or people that hide something from you, uh, the ideas or things that others hiding from you becomes the burden for you. And it feels like the people are not willing to face the reality. And that's why they are also not willing to face themselves or they are not ready to face you, so to speak. And that is why uh, they are hiding something. Uh, it feels like, you know, it feels like the things have been shown to you. You know, two ideas or things have been shown to you. Uh, but then the people who hold on to these ideas are not facing these two ideas themselves. So it's like uh, they show some ideas to you, but then the people who hold on to these ideas are not facing you or not facing themselves or not facing the reality. Just like uh, the ideas, everyone knows about these ideas. But then the people who hold on to the ideas are not facing these two ideas that they are holding on to. And then they are not facing themselves and then they are not facing you. That's why they are turning their back on you and yet showing two ideas to you, okay? So, um, ideas, when you're not solid, these ideas is going to fade away. And here, uh, feels like uh, because the ideas are presented to you, and but the people around you or uh, you yourself are not facing the ideas, the people around you are not facing ideas, each other not facing each other and so uh, like uh, it's some kind of disappointment I see some kind of disappointment because of disappointment then it can create some kind of burden and it's also it feels like uh, this kind of burden or the past or uh, something that you re rely on to and it's like they are there of course they are always there this kind of you know they are plants they are sticks uh, unless you uh, pull them out they are always there or unless you are going to walk towards the future and they will always be there so the past uh, it's going like uh, the past always there and the burdens will always be there unless you really are going to do something. And it's also about uh, taking a rest, 
uh, trying to how, uh, see how to deal with some kind of disappointments or sorrows in life and it's like uh, someone is moving forward but then someone got disappointed and therefore someone's using some kind of feeling of disappointment in order to hold on to someone and in order to stop someone from looking into the future and so there's some kind of uh, drama created there's some kind of things created and it's you can take a rest before you move forward and and see if you can grow something right so if the plants are not growing then it's time to plant something new or to see how to deal with things to fix things before moving forward and this is like uh, the brightness of the future the brightness of things um, and it's also about vanity some some kind of vanity I see some kind of vanity and also some kind of uh, feminine energy going on and three uh, working to decoration to decorate something it's about a working in order to purchase something to decorate and and then another hand is holding onto something and see how to deal with it so it's it's like uh, the feminine energy it's holding on to one thing and then there's already uh, some work that needs to be done and also there's something that in the mind and so it's about vanity it's about uh, how to work in order to uh, solidate something it's about uh, whether we see vanity as how others see us you know maybe we do not know that we are very vain and maybe we do not know that we are very shallow uh, until someone look at us and point out okay oh I see three flowers on top of your head and it's decoration right so uh, when something being point out to us and we realize that it's about vanity it's about uh, certain things in life that we use as a decoration and we also work hard to gain some kind of vanity or some kind of approval from others and also this is about about fulfillment how fulfill you feel about something it's also about security you know when we have something and we always complain about oh, not having enough and so we keep on working working hard or become very greedy and we keep on doing something and gain more and more so this is also the things that we need to focus on and because we feel the lack of security maybe emotional insecurity maybe is the uh, uh, financial insecurity that we feel so we always ask for more and we always work hard to gain more and we become greedy and we forget that we already have enough to survive and we already have something that is sufficient so it's also about understanding the meaning of sufficiency and also about how emotional secure we feel about ourselves and no need to use something to decorate us or no need to seek approval from others and it's also about um, yes it's also about hold on to something maybe one is enough and so uh, it's about let go of greedy need greed 
and so uh, maybe we don't even know that we are greedy until something happens and and also uh, it's about working with vanity personal emotional fulfillment personal emotional insecurity and also about greedy you know understanding the the meaning of sufficiency so i hope you enjoyed this reading for prison reading please click the link in the description box below see you next month bye